Hi class, so in this video I'm going to go over how to complete, access, and submit TGA number two choice board. You should have already completed TGA number one's choice board. Make sure you do that one first. This is going to be a similar process, nearly identical, so you should already be familiar, but just in case, see, here's this video. First step, you're going to go to the content tab at the top left hand area of your course. Remember, you might not see table of contents when you click that content tab. In this area, it'll display the last course content item that you were looking at. On the left hand side, you will see a list of all the different items in the course, the different units, other tabs that I just have information that I want you to be looking at. And you're going to find where it says TGA assignments, teacher graded assignments. And you're going to click that. And here are some directions for you. Teacher graded assignments or TGAs are worth 35% of your overall grade. All of the TGA assignments are worth 20 points apiece. You will need to complete a total of three TGA assignments this semester. You have a choice as to which three TGA assignments you can complete. The only requirement is that you complete one assignment from each TGA choice board for the total for a total of three TGA assignments for the semester. So meaning when you open the assignment, you will have mo multiple assignments to choose from. You only need to complete one for each choice board. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to choice board number two. That's this video is over choice board number two. And you will see this pop up and you'll see there's six squares and each offers a different assignment type. Please click on all six squares, read through them, see what your options are before you get started. You can pick any of these six, but only do one. You do not need to do more than one. For this video, I'm going to go through the create an instrument square as it's my personal favorite. Just some background information for you to look at. Every single option will have this slide, a goal, what, how, evaluation. The how, this will be the same for all of the choices. You can either type on a Word document, you can need to submit a .wd file only or I will not be able to open it on my computer. You can handwrite it. You can do a piece of paper, create a poster, flashcards, diorama, you name it, get creative. If you do anything that's physical, you need to take a picture of it and submit a JPEG or a PDF of that image. You can also put it into a PowerPoint, but I'm going to need a nice visual of it. You can do a video too. MP4 is totally fine. You can create a PowerPoint, save it as a .ppt file type so that I can open it. Otherwise, it will not open for me. You can submit a link. If you're using Google Documents, Canva, other online sources, you can submit a link for me to open. You're going to need to put that link into a Word document, PowerPoint, or PDF so that I can open it and it will submit correctly. I need to be able to access any file that you send me and link that you send me either in Google Chrome or on a Windows computer. If it's a Mac specific program, I will not be able to open it. So then you're going to get some steps on what it wants you to do. For this choice, it wants you to physically create an instrument. You're going to step one, create it. Step two, answer some questions. Step three, take pictures. Then you're going to look at the rubric and the rubric is going to show you how I'm going to be grading it. You get a total of 20 possible points. So look, see five points for creativity if you present it in a creative way. If you don't present any information, you don't get points. So use this as your guide. I'm going to click the square again. And then once you have completed this assignment, please submit it to the TGA choice board number two in your course. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. You will also see how to submit an assignment video, which is the video you're watching right now. And if you press the home button, it'll take you back to the choice board and you can look at all of the options. Remember, you don't have to do create an instrument. You can do research. 
you can um, compare and contrast. Look at the choices. Once you've chosen and completed your assignment, you're going to scroll down to where you see submissions. Right here you can see no submissions yet. Drag and drop to upload your assignments below. And here's your choices. Upload, record, or choose existing. You should not be choosing choose existing. That means you are choosing an assignment from another course that you've already uploaded or you are choosing an assignment that you've already uploaded for this class. This should be an original assignment. You should not be choosing something from another class or that you've already submitted for this class. For record, you can record video or audio right here in the assignment. If that's how you would like to present your information is through video or through an audio clip, you can do that right here. You don't need a separate program. For all the other file types, JPEG, Word, PowerPoint, PDF, you're going to click Upload. You're going to choose your file type, whatever file, navigate to it, open, and you'll see when it turns blue, it means it's uploaded. Then you'll see this lovely comment bar and you can tell me anything that you want to tell me. This assignment is really hard. This assignment was awesome. Miss, send help. I don't know what I'm doing. Type that here. But if you need help, please email me, call me, text me, smoke signal. Let me know that you need help. Once you're done with that, you do not need to do a comment. Hit the submit button. If you do not hit the blue submit button, it will never send it to me. Once you see this little pop up that says submitted successfully and you see this green spot right here that says confirmation email sent successfully, then you know that your submission is complete and you are done with your assignment and you can wait for me to send you your grades through the OLS. If you need any help, please reach out to me. I am here for you.